Okay, so y'all, I needed this reading for myself, and I don't like being selfish with the message. Sometimes my message be so good. My messages be so good. I got to share it with somebody. So we are doing a pick a card reading on what's about to happen within your workplace, okay? Because I don't know why, but the new year come, and all of a sudden the workplace want to switch up. People want to switch up. This and it want to change. And it's like, why is it changing all of a sudden? So, yeah. I don't know why I did that. Let me do it like this. And then I'm going to do y'all some pickers. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, of course, the work card. So this was meant to be. We have the Five of Pentacles here, of course. Y'all, the Lord is coming through. And then we have in reverse. Excuse me, we ain't going to take no reverse. We got the Five of One. So we have the Eight of Pentacles for pile number one. The Two of Pentacles. Excuse me. Dang, I'm sorry. Pile, eight of Pentacles, pile number one. Five of Pentacles, pile number two. Five of Wands, pile number three. What is about to happen within your workplace, okay? And we are jutting off with, jetting off with number one, Eight of Pentacles, okay? All right, let's get into what is about to happen within your workplace. I'm going to put all the cards out and listen, and then we're going to start, because I need these messages to be, messages to be clear, concise, accurate, Clear, concise, accurate. Clear, concise, accurate. For pile number one. Pile number one. Pile number one. Pile number one. Ooh, this fell in my lap. What in the world is happening? Okay. Pile number one. Pile number one. Pile number one. Pile number one. I mean, who's that wonderful girl? Couldn't she be any cuter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what's about to happen in your workplace is, okay, so it's going to be some people quitting in your workplace. It's some people quitting because of some type of drama, maybe, I don't know, like, maybe it's some supervisors acting a mess, like, and some leads. It may be some supervisors that are allowing leads to act a certain way. And I guess because you're so you're divinely protected, even in your job, it's going to cause them to be looking for other people because evidently something you made it like a with the Ace of Pentacles. This one is giving me like a whip. Some of you guys could have filed a complaint against somebody and they couldn't handle the complaint. So they quit. So maybe your supervisor is looking for somebody to fill that position and they think it's going to be you because you're the reason that, that this person wanted to quit. Um, this person, your job, okay, hold on, let me get more clarity. It's a lot of young people in this reading. Maybe your boss is trying to please young people at their job, or they're trying to please people at their job, and it's going to cause them to have to leave the job as well. It's a, yeah, your job is going to be filled with all new people. Because it was some type of injustice that happened. And you guys could have been the one to to speak out on it with the Queen of Wands. Some of y'all spoke out on the injustice at your job. And it's causing a, up, a upheaval in the workplace. It's causing people to be exposed. And it's also making people speak out. Like, somebody could, okay, so if you file a complaint, HR is naturally going to come in. And they're going to be trying to see, Um, they're going to be talking to people, trying to see people's opinions on this and that, okay? So, <laughs> so what I'm getting is like, it gives me like the supervisor tried to turn everybody against you and HR came in to investigate and they, they, they definitely deemed that that, that was the truth. Um, this person was trying to talk negatively about you to other people because everybody always brought this person up and what this other person had said, this, this, and that, um, this person is definitely going to be looking for another job as well, looking for somebody to hire them because, number one, it's going to be hard to find somebody that
that's going to accept you when you were pretty much like harassing your last workplace. That's what I'm getting because the four of cups was like, you're not taking anything anybody has to offer. And I, you know how the workplace is. They be trying to cut your hours, cut everybody hours, and then be trying to get people to come in. What you cut people hours for just to call people to come in. They want henchmen. They want people that are going to, that's going to move when they say move. And some of y'all are like, I'm not going to do this. So y'all either giving me something concrete or y'all not give, or I'm not giving nothing at all. I'm not coming in to work um for some of you guys y'all boss is catching a lot of hell because they trying to satisfy one person and they can't satisfy the next when they should be an overround person your boss could be used to breaking rules and that's and they could have broke rules or they could have did what they needed to do to um to get on top Three of ones, that's that's solidifying what I said. They did what they needed to do. They could have betrayed who they needed to betray. They could have laughed in whoever face they needed to laugh in to get the position, but that wasn't a position that they earned. So they don't know how to they don't know how to rule they don't know how to handle it right. I wanted to say rule it right, but you don't rule the job. You handle the job with respect. You put, you know, you you be able to put respect on, you know, people in that. I feel like this is the type of job they go from co they go from favorite coworker to favorite coworker as well. And I think that's another problem because we have the Knight of Cups here, the Page of Cups here, with the Page of Swords here, and then we have the world upside down. And I feel like that's under you solely because. If you're in this reading, I know you. I know you got other bags. I know you do because the eight of, you chose the Eight of Pentacles. You could easily find work somewhere else. But the thing is, you you could for whatever reason, this is the job that you that you are choosing to be at. It could be a whole bunch of reasons why you're choosing to be at this job. It could be distance from work, from your home. It could be the pay. It could be, you know, the type of workload you have, the flexibility you have. You know what I'm saying? It could be a lot of reasons why um you stay at a job. But one thing is for certain, you're not going to stay in no, you're not going to allow anybody to like misuse you in a workplace when every workplace has laws. That's what people fail to realize. It's rules for a reason. It's laws for a reason. Once you break them, you can't say you didn't know and you can't say, you know, Oh, well, this, this, and that. Because everybody goes through a code of ethics training in every job. You know what I'm saying? So you can't say you didn't know. And if you are if you hold a higher position, then you definitely should know. Because that's what you should teach to your employees. So I feel like this workplace is going to be crumbling as we speak. It could be crumbling as we speak. And it's really going to, like, I think it's going to open everybody involved eyes up, up, eyes up. Because it's like... You really risked your livelihood for pettiness, for a friendship, like your like your bills like didn't matter. Like you real life said, okay, well I'm gonna do this because I don't really like this person either, or this this and this happened. Like come on now, come on now. Like it's really like it's giving me this person acts like huh huh like they act like they don't hear you or they act like they don't see what's going on, but. They most certainly do. And I feel like what's happening now is they're about to, like, it's like a rude awakening is about to come on, on, on them because, number one, like I said, they're going to be looking for a job. Everybody in this situation that was wrong is going to be looking for a job because people, it don't, corporate, like, when it comes to ethics, nobody who did the right thing will ever get punished. So if you did the wrong thing, you get punished, you're definitely going to go into this next job thinking, I'm not going to be talking to nobody. I'm going to keep my head down, which is what you should always be trying to do anyway. And that was a notification. So that was that was a confirmation for me. So pile number one, I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. Please like, please share, and please subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all later. So a pile number two with this five of pentacles, what's going on in your workplace? I feel like some of y'all have y'all left y'all job. I think y'all said if this job and y'all left. Mm-hmm. 
Let's get into what is about to happen within pile number two's workplace. Clear, concise, accurate. Clear, concise, accurate. Ooh, y'all could have been attracted to another pile. I ain't gonna say which. Clear, concise, accurate. Clear, concise, accurate. Clear, concise, accurate. Y'all could have been at this job for a long time, too. Yup. And I know exactly what pile y'all were attracted to. Y'all were in this job for a long time. And this job could have not have appreciated you the way they should. You guys could have accomplished a lot at this job. And this job just refused to um, recognize you or acknowledge you for everything that you've done. You guys could have grew up at this job. It's giving me you guys could have held this job for eight years. What is this? 10, 10. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. I need to get my guidebook so I can make sure I'm on point with what this what this got to say because this is already this is already doing what it needs to do. do. Okay, because we got it. I ain't never. What in the world, y'all? This card is crazy. This must got different. This must be a deck that got different stuff in there because I ain't never seen this. But anyway, yeah, you guys could also have a hobby outside of work. And I feel like it's people at your job that are jealous of who you are outside of work. And that's why they disregard you at work because they're like, you can't be successful within the workplace, successful within your business, and then be making us feel like we regular and we not doing enough within our life. That's what it is. Like, these people didn't respect you because they had no respect for themselves. Five of Pentacles, again. Y'all have so many synchronicities in y'all reading. It don't make no sense. Some people left you out in the cold because they saw how how, how prosperous you, you were. Oh, but let me tell you, y'all. Wait a minute, y'all. I this five of ones popped up, but I bent it. Y'all, these people tried to hurt you. They tried to discredit you. But, baby, the Lord is finna shake the ground beneath their feet, and they finna really see what's up with you. They really finna see how flourishing you really can be and how also you can cut things off without even having to touch them. What is a high, what is about to happen within these two workplace? What is about to happen? What is about to happen? What is about to happen? Ten of Pentacles. You guys could be about to be um y'all could end up having a raise or getting a raise or either like after these people leave because I know somebody's gonna leave. It's too it's somebody either you left. Oh no. If you left, you finna go on to another job. But if these people were doing you wrong within the workplace, you could have put in a um a complaint or whatnot, or you could have spoke your piece to the right person, but you didn't know it was the right person, um, or whatever. Somebody else could have made a complaint, and then you like, if they making a complaint, I'm making a complaint. Either way, this person is leaving this job because it came out twice. They're leaving this job, and either you're about to get more money, or you're finna get a better job. The strength here. So the Lord is working in your situation because it came right under the Eight of Pentacles. The, the Lord is working in this situation. Definitely do not worry because you are protected. With the strength card, if you have a line at your spirit animal, it's nothing to be worried about because God is going to go. The, God is going to see it here before you even sense it. And it's going to already be taken care of. He's going to go ahead of you. You are not stuck. You're not stuck at this job and you're not stuck, you know, trying to find a job. If you left this job, you're like, I'm going to give me another one. If you haven't already got another one. But if you're moving to another job, you're not going to feel stuck at this job neither. And you shouldn't be, you know, expecting the past at this job because this job is really going to be your way out. You guys really have been planning like you needed to plan. Like I said, y'all were attracted to another pile as well. But either way, let me tell you something. These people are about to be sick to their stomach because what's about to happen within their personal life is going to happen, like I said, within their personal life. It's going to happen in a way that they're going to attribute it to whatever happened in the workplace, but they're not going to be a, they're not going to be ready. Some people walked into 2024 thinking that next this year was going to be this, their year. They said next year is going to be my year, but they took those habits and their mindset from last year into this year, and let me tell you, this year is not going to be a good year for them it's not starting off well 
the tower boom y'all they falling as we speak and i hate to say it like this but y'all are gonna watch it happen because at the end of the day y'all came with the right energy y'all were focused on what y'all needed to focus on y'all were like y'all just did y'all did what y'all needed to do but these people refused to change these people are going to go through something definitely serious they're definitely they're definitely not about to profit page of cups that's cancer pisces scorpio coming out so yeah whoever that is they're not gonna be they're not gonna receive what they think they're gonna receive matter of fact they gonna have they're not gonna be able to sleep like i said what they're they wanted you to be heavily burned at work they wanted to put all the work on you. They wanted you to work. If you wanted to work the most hours, you were going to be working all. You going you was going to put all your body, your soul into it. They wanted to make sure you felt the work that you were doing. They wanted to talk about the work that you didn't want to do because you always do the work. You know, these people are going to be sick to their stomach. I'm telling you, if they, if it's not you leaving, they're going to they're going to have to leave the job. They're going to have to leave. It's it's not going to be any ifs ands or buts about. It. They're going to have to leave. And they're going to be trying to fight it. And guess what? It's something else in their personal life that's going to tear them right on back down. That's, what, that's what's, what's going to kill them. They're going to be asking why, why, why. And God is going to show them because you're dirty and you treat people even dirtier. Like This is like a workplace right here that everybody is petty. Everybody petty. You probably say to yourself, they mad because you act like you're better than them. When I mean, who wants to be petty? Grow up. So, yeah, please like, please share, please subscribe, pile number two, if that was accurate to you. And I'm going to catch y'all later. All right, so we have pile number three with the five of ones. It's going to be a change within the whole collective's workplace because two five back to back, like, come on. And I at least seen five three times in, in all of the readings. So whatever going on in your workplace, baby. It's a change that's about to come. So y'all pick the five of pentacles for pile number three. And that's let me know right there. Y'all workplace messy as hell. We got the seven of cups. People don't find like this is not the work environment. People, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back in, but I'm gonna say what it told me to say. People could be your managers or your supervisor could be telling people that it's an opportunity to move up. They be like, oh, it's an opportunity to move up. You can do this. You can move up the management fast, this, this, and that. But they don't talk about how you got to kiss everybody's butt in order for you to move up or in order for you to be seen good enough. And I feel like that's where the drama come in at because some of y'all are like, baby, y'all getting what I came to give and that's it. Like, y'all not finna have me getting out of my body behind y'all. Um, your workplace could be like reminiscing on who you were when you first started working here versus like how you are now. Some of them tell the saying like your attitude has changed. I don't know why, but I'm getting like your attitude changed because you like this is a mess. Like it's whatever reason I feel like people in your job expect you to fix a mess that you didn't even make. Like something happens and they're like, "Hey, can you?" And you like, "Why would I?" Like they don't have nothing to do with me. <laughs> like dead ass. We have the justice here. So, yeah, it's some type of justice that's about to be done within the workplace. All right. And then we had the two of ones here. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm holding all these. I'm putting, I'm taking, I, sometimes I do take reverses. I'm taking all these cards in reverse, and I'm trying to get the reversal. But sometimes you will know if the reverse or not right because the message that comes out don't correlate. But that's just if you're a tarot reader and you be, you know, so I know everybody don't, they be tarot reading on YouTube. Some people be baby witches. If you're a baby witch, I'm just letting you know, or a baby tarot reader, whatever you identify with, I know witches follow me. So I be trying not to be, discrim be discriminatory or whatever they, they be saying. So, yeah, what I'm getting is your workplace, they really reminiscing on who you used to be and who you are now. Some of you guys are on a pedestal and not a pedestal that you gave yourself and not a put it's just a pedestal that God put you on. It's like you're able, you're different. People, it's like you could have came in meek and mild and now people see you, you know what's up. Like people see that people are nervous because you know you didn't been there a good minute, so you see what's going on.
the Justice and the Queen of Wands is giving me Gemini energy for whatever reason, especially with the Six of Cups. So some of you guys know how to be fun and free and like have a good time, but y'all also know how to work. And it's giving me the workplace don't like how you're a better boss than their boss. It's like your judgment is way better, and they don't like that sometimes when you don't want to, they, they don't like that you act like a boss, but you would prefer to be a worker. People don't know how to take you at your workplace, and they really want to, like, damage you. Or, like, it's like they really want to damage or, like, they really want you to suffer in some way in the workplace. Like, they want you to suffer maybe emotionally. They want to, um, they want people, it's like, it's like they want people to come up against you, but it's like it's not easy to take you down because it's like you have to, it's like the type of person you are, it just don't make sense. Yeah, Ace of Swords right here, right here to say yes, that's the truth. They want to take you down so bad. They want to fight with you so bad, but they can't because you're too just. You're too, you're too protected. They're scared energetically to come to come after you because they don't know they know it's like their inner spirit knows that you have that power to make their personal life shatter they're not gonna they don't want to risk that in some in some people's minds they're like i've been through too much to be messing with this person and then everything i've been working for go down the drain somebody knows that you have spiritual gifts they know that you're spiritually inclined they also know that somebody could have said it's like it's something that's going around within the workplace and it's dealing with you. Maybe everybody doesn't like you, but everybody knows that the reason why they don't like you, they're embarrassed to say it. They're embarrassed to say why they don't, why they don't like you because it's petty. But everybody feels less compared to you and they don't know why because they feel like before they met you, they felt like they had everything. After they met you, it was like, why are you even here? If you got everything going so good with you, why are you even here? And maybe your response is, I'm just like you. And then they're like, you're not like me. And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like they have inner, it's like you are a mirror to these people. You have, your your workplace is, is really like turned up. You guys could go to different workplaces and turn up. Like, I ain't gonna even cap. I feel like I'll be meant to go to workplaces to show people who they are and show people who they're meant to be. I am a water sign, so technically I am a living mirror. Nine of swords. They really want you to be... Baby, let me tell you something. Your co-workers be crying at night about how, how successful you are. Your co-workers could be looking you up. I see you outside of work. They No. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Hold on, y'all. Let me... Yes. Confirmation confirmation y'all i'm okay so the last couple readings the last couple readings the pinnacles is out because we were we talking about work okay let me tell y'all something and y'all saw with the power selection the, pin, the pinnacles is out clarify you know just let me know that god knows what the reading is about we are in we are connected okay i ain't trying to make this no long read i'm about to wrap it up so I'm looking at your reading, and your reading let me know that your coworkers are watching you while you're not at work. It's not about anything that you do within work. Your coworkers don't like you because who you are outside of work. They're just mad because they have to look at you, be beautiful, be great, be handsome, be whoever you are at work. When they know that you have a better lifestyle outside of work, they feel like you should have been, you should be working somewhere else, or you should be doing something else. But it's none of their business. It is not their decision to decide what you do. And that's another reason why they're mad. They are mad. They can't take control of their life. Everything they try to do, it don't work out. They could be trying to get a job, can't get that. They could be trying to do this, can't do that right. It's getting all right, y'all, I had to come back in because I was wrapping it up and my headphone had died. So, yeah, these people are going to, because they tried to do you so bad at this job, these people are going to be done bad at every job they go to. It's not going to matter what it is or what they're doing. It's never going to be enough. They're always going to have the most, most uh, workload. And these people are going to always be thinking about the fact that they should have never did you like that or else they wouldn't even be going through this. So, yeah, like, share, and subscribe. People need to watch out how they treat people. And I'm going to catch y'all later.